part three, a seed is planted. Again, the peripatetic willies set upon the hobo's journey. Yukon Willie, fromage Willie, Willie du fromage. Now, he was a former beaver trapper from the province of Quebec, moved out west with the idea to wrangle beavers for the lucrative fur trade. Well, that didn't work out so well, so he opened up a trading post. But he was never far from the beaver. He developed a succulent beaver sausage. Mon frère, two crazy vagabonds have come here to the Yukon to mine the gold. But I have given them something richer than gold. I have given them sausage. Yukon Willie, 1862. De Fromage put it in their minds to go to Paris because, and I quote, the streets are paved with gold, and the ladies smell like chocolate. And they really believe this to be true. They had no sense of geography or history. And so they determined to get there. Every day they spent cooking sausage and planning how to get to Paris. Clearly, this was pivotal, as sausage was their salvation, their calling. The Willies had it in their mind to undo the Oklahoma fiasco, and sausage would be the key. Wild Stallion smell them before he see them. Then Bear arrive and attack. Wild Stallion fight hard, saved by clever hobos. Those two really knew how to think on their feet. They fashioned a squirrel out of sausage and created a diversion. Those crazy old white men saved me that day. Father's so happy he go kill that bear and he make sausage for the willy. Hobo without teeth say they leave and father give them canoe to get to Paris. You want to understand the willies, you got to understand the power of sausage. <laughs>